Hello dear students, let us discuss question number one of worksheet one. Find the missing terms in the following tables if x and y vary directly. What do you mean by x and y vary directly? We know that if there are two quantities x and y, they are said to be in direct variation if x and y increase or decrease in such a way that x upon y remains constant. So here we are going to use this mathematical relationship that uh, here get, it is given that two quantities are in direct variation. So let us solve this question. So what we have done is we have uh, taken here P, Q, R in the place of the blanks which is uh, given over here, right? So let us uh, start solving the first part. So you tell me in this first part, x upon y is 6 upon 18. So for finding p, what we have to do? Yes, we will be writing as x and y vary directly. So x upon y is equal to constant. That is k. So that means here 6 upon 18 should be equal to 8 upon p. And this, sh this should be equal to 12 upon q. This should be equal to r upon 63. We can write, write directly. So this is equal to 12 upon q which is equal to r upon 63. Now you can make equations out of this statement. So let us find p first. So we can write 6 upon 18 is equal to 8 upon p. So simplify this and tell me what is the value of p. So when we solve this, we get p equal to 24. Good. Okay, now tell me 6 upon 18 is equal to 12 upon q. So what will be the value of q? It is given that uh, x and y are in direct proportion. So 6 upon 18 is equal to 12 upon q. So tell me what is the answer for Q? So this implies Q is equal to, when you simplify, you get this as 36. Similarly, quickly do the last part. 6 upon 18 is equal to R upon 63. What is the answer? Simplify this. And R is equal to, yes, R is equal to 21. So similarly, you can do the second and the third part. So in the second part, you will be making the relationship. 10 upon 5 is equal to T upon 10 is equal to 30 upon M is equal to 46 upon D. And get specific equations for finding the values of t, m and d. Similarly, in the third part, 6 upon 15 is equal to 8 upon 20 is equal to 10 upon k is equal to n upon 40. And you can find the value of k and n. I hope question number one is clear to you.